those are kind of downers, man. So I'm like, hey, can sit there and do. So I'm 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 nervous to watch the social one because it's like, listen, I don't need to be judged through a screen. But you are. I know. Whoa, whoa. That was deep. That was deep. I see you've got um, the so you've got the yeah. audience camera set up. No, so it's this not camera even, is is watching us, but that camera, ladies and gentlemen, is, is watching you. It is not on, but I just this little camera right here took a journey today. It did because you talked the other day of going. For some reason, I, I I might have given the impression that I'm I'm scared to do certain things with the camera. Yes, and so I had that little beard voice in my head that's like. Hey, sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. <laughs> Dude, I can't do sweep the leg <laughs> stuff right now because I told you the other day, I'll get into that one in just a oh, minute, man. what Cobra Kai has done to my family. But Sweep the leg, Johnny. Um, no, I put this on top of my car today and drove around and got some got some weird looks, I believe, but that's No, it. I was just... I was commenting because I, in, in an effort to try and have slightly better posture yes As I, I am slouching oh no like right so now. i i try some when i when i'm using my phone and i'm showing this to the people on the camera yes i will try and hold it more at eye level as opposed to doing this because right. that's bad for your neck yes and you always think that i'm recording you when i'm doing that you've I, I won't never, go as far as to say yeah. accused me, but you have implied right. that I am recording you in those moments. Jokingly. When I, when I'm, yes, yes. Jokingly yes. implied. That's I why I said I'm not going to go as far as saying you've yes. accused me. And, but And listen, I have some weird, we'll call it PTSD or whatever from that because I used to have a boss. Right. That, whatever. But I would go to talk to that supervisor and that's what they would be doing, would be doing this as I was talking. And then you're more of a phone person I am. My phone has n- never done this because it's not as cool. But it would make the clicking, like the camera. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, I was just turning it off. But it was like taking, it sounded like he was taking pictures. Yes, when really what it is, and let me see if I can get this into the mic. On, on this phone. But that's very... Un- it goes like this. Yeah. When it unlocks, or, you know, when it locks back up. Right, but it was very unnerving. Because um, I'd be going to this supervisor, you know, trying to address something or whatever, and... Right. It's this. Um, which I would not put past that individual. Right. So No, but it was just funny to me that... You had a camera pointing at a yeah. camera. Yeah. Oh, see now I need Just to going now I need to, to silence to you. Re silence my phone. Yeah. Um, but no, it was just funny. It was. Yes. That's the camera that's watching the people that are watching, watching. us on the uh, camera. Whoa, whoa. I should put my headset camera on inception. One day and just be like, Tucker vision. You should. You should wear. You should just wear it. And like not even powered <laughs> on. Just wear the 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 head cam. Would you remember everywhere when, you go? I had clients that they wanted video on like how to get to the house and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, and so I did that. Like, I full blown did a big video thing. But you and I jokingly took it a step further and put all the cameras that we had at the moment on me. right, all of them. And I walked around downtown briefly with and, all the cameras with on. all the cameras on, and yeah, some people. I well, let me looks. let me tell you this. That though. happens to me a lot. I get when, weird looks. Well, <laughs> it's me. Have you seen you? I know, right? Um, no. Oh, so it was, it was a conversation that I was having over the weekend. Um, my son participated in his first jujitsu tournament. Yes. This weekend, and he did pretty well. Um, but I was also, I decided I was going to get some video footage of the. Of the tournament itself, right? Um, the school that my the jujitsu school that my son attends, um, the the sensei there, he's a he's a really cool guy. I've gotten to know him really well over the last couple of years, and so I was I was like, you know, it'd be really awesome to to get some footage just of as many of the kids from the team 
as possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking around with our, our bigger camera right. on a tripod, you know, with just looking as official as I possibly can. Yes. Because with, not that most people were following the updated COVID-19 guidelines for an event like this. Right. And I'll say it because it's, it'll be obvious when, right. um, it's a, it's not a small camera. But what they, one of the things was they didn't want really anybody next to the mats, which wasn't the case at all. Okay. <laughs> By a long shot. But, um, but I needed to get close to the mats so I could get some footage of not just my son competing, but some of the other kids from the school competing. And I was reminded that, man, if you carry a camera on a tripod around, you can go anywhere you want. Well, you and I have had this conversation before where it's it's all about confidence. And I was having that conversation the other day. It's like, right. if you act like you are supposed to be there, right. no one's going to say a word. Um, it was recently we were doing our little golf cart, not our last little cruising thing, but we had volunteered for the ride, right. ride Prescott, which is kind of a free little shuttle sure. service. Yeah. Well, they were having an event there that they had like the security there at the gate and everything like that. I drove right in. Right. Drove right in, did a lap around the whole entire event and left. No one said a word to me. I was like, no. You I was act like, you know, I was taking photo and videos from vantage points that were not available to the general public and it, like I said, you just walk around with that with a with a camera on a oh, tripod. Right. Yeah. And just move with a purpose. Right. And people get out of your way. Yeah. I mean, I got I got through the crowd so much easier. That's awesome. When I was carrying the camera and tripod. Yeah. Than I did without it. I know. So that's awesome. Let that be a lesson to you. If you want to go to places you're not supposed to go, just get yourself a camera and a tripod, and it's basically an all-access don't, pass. Yeah, don't blame us for when you... No, yeah, yeah, if you try it. You're like trying and to get, get into clapped. Disneyland. Well, I had a camera and a tripod. I thought I could make it work. Talking birds, it was fine. <laughs> Kellen said it was fine. <laughs> yeah. Kellen said it was okay. Well, that's a whole other story <laughs> in itself. Um, yeah, you and I have been... It was a busy weekend. Kind of nonstop. I've been like you know, I've been trying to take the the B word. I, I've been trying to not use the B word. Okay. Being busy. Right. Just because you know, I'd read something where it's just somebody had made a point of and this isn't just because you just said that it was a busy weekend, but I had just was a lot of people in our lives and everything like that. And it was always Somebody coming up and being like, oh, sorry, it was bu I was busy. Like, everybody's trying to out-busy each right. other. Like, it's a competition. And so that was kind of the start of it. And then it was some people going, like, ah, I'm not using the word busy because it's kind of like, I'm too busy for you. Right. Like, my priorities list, you're not on it. Kind exactly. of thing. And I don't ever want to insult Come anybody that doing way. that or complacent in any way because I have things going on. So I try not to, every once in a while it's hard not to say it. I mean, sometimes like, busy is the right word. Correct. Sometimes busy is the right word to use. It's just not always the right word to use. Right. So I try, I, I just try and find other words, I guess. It's it's a silly little thing, but it's just kind of like, hey, well, I'm we, trying we to had, not. We had know. that conversation, you and I, a couple of years back, mm -hmm. you know, and it was like, replace... The phrase, I'm busy, with, it wasn't a priority. Right. You know, switch that verbiage around and see how it makes you feel. You know, when someone says, did you get this thing done? And you go, I was too busy. Right. Versus, it wasn't a priority for me. Yeah, I would have really loved to have gotten that done. But it I wasn't just, a priority it, for me. It wasn't a priority. Um, and we had not getting into too much, but we had kind of event that we were trying to be a part of over the weekend that we had done. We made a video for it. We everything. made a whole video for it. And I think that it brought a lot of people in. I saw some people that yeah, went be in, you know, that I was from on, on our cruising directions. episode to the alpaca farm. And I was going to try and get over there and, um, they had graciously said that we could have a booth. 
right over there um the rockstar group and all of us got tied up with well i was i was simply out events. of town yeah you from the get go weren't like but it was nonstop and it was yeah. just like i felt i've have felt bad ever since then just cuz i wasn't able to make it work but well with was, again with the exception of family yeah our business is our priority right there's just no two ways about it right business is the priority yeah because this podcast is brought to you by the Rockstar Group, yeah. West USA Real Estate there of Prescott. Um, that's how, that's how we're able to do this. Right. Again, maybe someday it won't be the reason we're able to do this. Right. But right now it is. Right. And so that's our priority. Yeah. You can call us Spotify. That's yeah. fine. I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, I'm not going on strike. I will, I will take. I will take a tenth of what you offered, Mr. Rogan. Yeah, and I'm not going to get mad about no. anything that he does. So no. go ahead and give us a call. I heard that was a little thing. I don't know all the details on it, but yes, Mr. Rogan was. There's a there's a minor kerfuffle. Well and, placed word, man. And the fact of the matter is, is um, Joe Rogan got a hundred million dollars out of that deal. Yeah. So Do you he see doesn't his set though. I'm not a fan actually I'm of not, it. Like it is. I'm not saying we have the most not, amazing set in the world, but no, I understand. I like, really liked his old set. Yeah, I liked his old set too. And, and his now new it one, looks I'm like, like he, it's a listen. I'm a Star Wars fan. It looks like he's in a bunker. Right. Like I, I, I am a huge Star Wars fan. I would not decorate our set in a way that looked like we were on a spaceship. Right. It doesn't fit the. It doesn't fit the theme. No. Like yeah, his his new set is interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. I think it's time for some updates on that one. A Already. little bit of changes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just it, it just was it's hard it. to look at. Yeah, it's just it I liked his other one again mm. with the way that it was set up. It just looked a little bit more cozy and Yeah. Um this one Front yeah, room. it looks very very much like a an interrogation room on There you go. On a spaceship. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or an Empire spaceship. Empire. Wow. There you go. So, yeah, man, it's been hectic. See, hectic. It's, it was it's a hectic. No, I mean, we had we had a, a fun weekend of doing not much, mm-hmm. but also doing everything. Right. Like we were we were nonstop, go go go. Well, I know for three straight days, I had to. I was gonna say I had to contact you a couple times, but like, listen, our businesses are connected, right? um, And schedules are connected, but it was usually usually you and I, you know, converse would be like, "Hey, I got this going on this weekend," so we know, right? You know, I knew it's like, "Hey, you're gonna be running around doing jujitsu stuff, some some Cobra Kai stuff." Yeah. And, you know, not to bother you or anything like that. But it was a couple hey, of times where it's like, hey. What are we, we doing? Our schedules. This week. Well, kind of told you and probably bored you to death and told you way more than you cared to know. Just days starting to go, hey, I got this. I got this. This is getting thrown in there. Yeah. Um, bunch of different things. So it's like, hey, we're doing this, right? Hey, cool. And yeah. we're doing this on this like, day, Are right? we going to do this thing yeah. on this day? Yeah, are we doing this on this day? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're doing it because, yeah. Because we got stuff to do. And mm-hmm. I'm grateful for that. Yeah, 100%. But also, you know, to kind of to wrap up this talking point, um, so to speak, you know, just not getting wrapped up in what I call the cult of busyness. Okay. You know, focusing more on being productive than being yeah busy right because you can be very busy and get nothing done 100 percent um and and really not make any any progress towards your goals or you know whatever that that looks like for you right so yeah focusing on being productive yeah has been my my goal for no, and a, it's a just, few years now no i and i 100 percent agree with that and adding it to the my busy jar that I guess I'll tighten back yeah. up that it's just, well, I just feel weird when somebody's just like, Hey, what's going on? Ah, oh, nothing. Just been busy. It kind of feels like I'm 
giving them a short... Not that I'm trying to give them a disrespectful answer. Right. But I don't know. It's just always felt like a... Oh, I've been busy. Been busy. Okay. Hey, haven't heard from you in a while. Been busy. Yeah. Again, and replace that, that. Oh, haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, talking to you is not a priority for me. Right. Like, <laughs> no, it's like being honest things. with yourself on, right. on is it in fact, is that the truth? Right. You know, or is because it probably is. Right. And that's okay in it my book. Okay. Yeah. Like sometimes it's just okay that getting in contact with somebody wasn't a priority at that time. Yeah. That's like, listen, sometimes I don't want, it's not okay. Right. I don't want you to be like, listen, talking, Hey Tucker, talking to you was not a priority. Yeah. I'd be like, dang. Like, Hey, but, what were you doing this weekend? Hey, I'm um, like, not talking to you. Right. <laughs> you know, like 100%. what was, what was, what was the priority there? Yeah. Then you must have had something else going on. Right. Cut, don't cut the white wire. I'm not going to cut it, but I am going to plug it in so that we can continue recording the audio for this. Oh, that'd be fun. Part five of Part episode five, 99.5. 99. So <sighs> someday, someday we'll get to move on to episode 100. I know. Maybe That'll not. Be an exciting day. Maybe not. Maybe we're just we gonna, just don't. We're just going to hold at episode 99 forever. Forever. Because it is kind of cool that it's like, have we now done 100 plus episodes? Yes. That are, there is something to celebrate there. And, you know, it's kind of like I tell, tell my wa- wife, we've both been married a long time. Right. And I go, and it feels like longer. And I go, I mean that in the most... Appreciating way, way possible. In, endearing Absolutely. way. I don't mean it at all in a bad way. It just goes, oh, it has it only been seventeen years. Yeah, which is a lot. You know, I see other people being like, it's our two year anniversary, and I'm like, yeah. Hey, and that's a that's that's a milestone. That's a great start. It's a very very you know, good and, milestone. And listen, even even with with but, marriages in this day and age, like, oh yeah. Two years is nothing to sneeze at. A lot no. of people don't make it that that far. They, right. you know, that's the only times though when I go, okay, like seventeen years is. Yeah, I remember because my my wife and I are pretty much the same <laughs> it's age. Where like I remember my first beer. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I remember my first beer, bro. <laughs> no, um, another individual. I remember my first gun. That was. Oh, tactical. Tactical. No, but I I remember um, when my wife and I, because we're we're almost exactly the same age. We're like two months apart. Right. And when we hit this milestone in our togetherness, where we had officially been together in our lives more time than we had been apart right. in our whole lives because we right. got together when we were uh, both 17. Right. And so, you know, about midway through I feel like that's the number 34, the um, we we're like, hey, you know, it's a, it's official that we have now spent more time as a couple than right. we ever spent not as a couple. Right. I, We've been together over half of our lives now. Yeah, we haven't hit that point just yet. We're almost there. Um, I'm... I'm a little bit older than her, but it's not by crazy creep, <laughs> not by any uh, kind of crazy amount, but no. not two months apart like you guys. Yeah. Are. Um, but I've noticed it with my wife's younger siblings. Okay. That I have been, I've known them longer. Like than I didn't know them. like, well, like how, my... I, how I want to word that. Like I've been in their lives. Right. For a longer amount of time than I wasn't. Right. Well, and like my relationship with my wife is older than one of my brothers. Wow. That's pretty cool. Well, it's, yeah, it's always one of those things. And I don't know if you, you and your wife have it where I, I remember certain things. Oh, we've got it. (laughs) No, I'll I'll remember certain (laughs) events and be like, Oh, they're going to love that we're talking about them like this. No, but but you're like, (laughs) Hey, do you remember when this happened? And it was, I mean, it was, it was BS. It was before Shayla. Right. That this event happened. I was in like high school. 
mm-hmm. or something. And I was like, well, do you remember that one person? It's like, no. Like, I have memories, and they and she was just there somewhere, just right. hanging out. Um, I have to remind myself sometimes of she was not there for that. Gotcha. You know, and different, different ongoings. She didn't know me then. It's probably a good thing. Probably. I was more annoying than I am now. <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Oh man. So, yeah, man. It's been a it's been a slow entertainment week, so there's not I mean, we had the we had the new WandaVision I know, I was official just trailer that drop like as we were recording last week's podcast. But then you and I have kind of talked about it, since, and I don't have a whole lot to say about it. No, the show's going to come out. I don't know what it. I don't know how I feel. Interesting. I, I just watching movies this last week or TV of any kind really just has simply not been a priority for me. Look at you. Yeah. So no, sem- I'm. Um, there's not. I don't. I don't have much to bring to the table in the in the entertainment portion yeah. of of our. Of our mission statement. Well, and it's like <laughs> our mission statement. Um, no, but we've been doing, you know, Friday night Tucker movie nights. Right. You know, everything. You guys are watching like old classics. But we're out. watching older movies. And yeah. so this last Friday was Mrs. Doubtfire, which is, it was fantastic. I think my son had seen it like a while back, mm-hmm. um, but didn't remember, you know, it wasn't fresh in his mind. He couldn't do it. But, and, right. but my daughters had never seen it. Um, and they loved it and stuff. So it's kind of, it makes you, movie. you know, I mean, just, it's just yeah. still holds up the fascinating thing though. I don't know when the last time you saw it, it takes a whole different spin now that like you're a parent, right? Like you get it. Like you're like, he had a horse in the house. Yeah. That's was unacceptable throwing, behavior. <laughs> that, it was like just from a father husband point of view. Right. Like, he had some things coming. He did things that he he ought not to have done. Like, having a party without her, without the mom. Right. And was going to be done before she got home. And well, it was he was acting like, like a child. Right. In, you know, in, in a movie where, let's have this big party. Right. While, the, while mom and dad are out of town. And we'll get it cleaned up before they get we'll home. We'll get it cleaned up, yeah. And it, it never just, happens. Right, it was the just... The parents always come home early. Yeah, it was just decision-making. The conference ends. Yeah, the decision-making thing. You go, huh, all right. Because as a kid, you're like, whoa, she showed she up. Flew off the handle. She flew off the handle. She's like, oh, son of divorce? Like, that's crazy. Like, I feel so bad for him. Uh, eh. Well, and also... And he was unapologetic. Like, it wasn't like... The party all shut right, down. I get where, I'm, where, like, where I was I'm, wrong. No, no, he was like, I was like, oh, and then he tries stop to it. murder Pierce Brosnan. Can yeah. we? Can we not? Can we? We can't couple, overlook that anymore. No. It was like, a thing where I'm like, huh? It's just he knew, yeah, that he was allergic. That he was to allergic pepper. to pepper. Yeah, and dosed him anyway. Yeah, that is attempted murder. Yeah, like that movie should have ended a completely different way. Right. Um. No, there was a just. It was kind of weird going back and watching it in my life now, of course, and well, just going and huh. and you talk about like the petting zoo and just like the scope of that party, right? That he throws for his son right. at the beginning of the movie when he was grounded. The kid was grounded and not right. allowed to have a party. Right. Just <laughs> so a we've got a lack of continuity with parenting. Right. They're not communicating. On. They're not communicating. No. But b. <laughs> Let's let's just throw out some numbers, shall we? Okay. Oh, that's he's dropping. Do you some know? Money. Do you know how much it would cost to bring a petting zoo to your house? Spur of the moment. Yeah, like last minute. Last, like you're it's paying, a rush order. You're you're paying the rush order. Fee. These are the things that you notice as an adult. You go, dude, homeboy dropped at least five bills. Yeah. To get the petting Easy. zoo. Easy. Not counting. And that's everything just else that was there. The there was decorations. Zoo. Yeah. There was yeah. Dude went hard in the yard. We're talking about dropping a thousand dollars on a spur of the yeah, you know, at a yeah. minimum 
on a spur of the moment party for a kid who was grounded. 12. He was 12 and he was years, twelve. Twelve years old, turned twelve. They just like playing soccer. I don't know, but it was just one of those looking at it with a different lens of where I'm at now. I'm right. just going, huh? Yeah, he he fully deserved. He crossed what was the line, going. and then being a creeper and going, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna dress as an old British woman, right, and infiltrate your house, unbeknownst to you." And spend time with my kids. Now, granted, them not in knowing 2020, that it's me either. In 2020, I don't if think you're this hiring, movie would. Yeah, if it's it's one of those that like the it's premise, like no, nothing about it like doesn't age well, you know, right, in, in right. woke speak. But there was a couple jokes that of I course, don't, I think would have would have hit the cutting room floor. Um, but. No one's hiring a nanny without doing a full, detailed background check. Right. A live-in help. You're hiring live-in help. Right. And you're not running a Some level background one background check. check on them? Yeah. You meet them for about 10 minutes. I'm getting a good feeling. Yeah. You seem British enough. Yeah. No. <laughs> you no. could almost be Mary Poppins. <laughs> Listen, I got... Yeah. It's like... Yeah. So, I mean, those are just British things enough. that run, like... It's Again, just suspending one's disbelief is right. important when when viewing cinema. Yes, in general. Yes, but well, more more you know, especially when it's comedy. Right. Well, and it was I was really really difficult because my my son is going through a stage right now where he is becoming quite the cinema critic, and he is thrashing every movie like just way overthinking it and picking it apart right and it's movies that he's becoming that troll on rotten tomatoes that yeah that you just were like shut up tell me stop sit down and enjoy the movie tell him that i said to stop yeah i it's gonna just fall in the long lines of give me his phone number right but i did play a movie for him the other day and then i'll wrap it up that i was like you know what i want to see what he says about this movie because it's a movie that i Saw him streaming, and I haven't watched it in quite some time. Last Action Hero. Oh. Okay. But I was like, you know what? It's kind of his... Thing. Like, it's it's kind of satire. Like, it's making fun of itself right. throughout the whole thing. Right. It's three different movies in one movie. Right. You know, um, I forgot how much I just really enjoyed that movie. It was a good one. But he he actually was a big fan of it. Like he actually enjoyed the fact that it's Arnold Schwarzenegger playing Arnold Schwarzenegger playing that character playing like yeah. There's multiple layers to that movie, but it was just kind of like I'll show you. Right. You want to pick apart a movie? Here's a movie that picks itself apart. Here you go. Like oh, we did watch one movie this week. Hmm. We did watch one movie. It's an oldie though. Um, we is it well, any of the movies that I've no let you borrow? No, it's not. Okay, it's not been any of those. Listen, <laughs> you can late, have them back anytime you remind me. Your late to bring fees them. at Tucker Video are through the roof. Yeah. yeah, it's a weird video where I'm like, I want you to watch. Like, I yeah, want you to like, rent this. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, and you just <laughs> like. All right, the eventually. greatest <laughs> rental store ever. Eventually, I know you want to. You're gonna be. You, a, you're gonna be like a movie sommelier. You want tell me uh, your interests. You want to watch this? Mm. No, you're gonna watch no. this one instead. Yeah. This is what I want you to watch. No, well, because a, a new show launched on Netflix this last week or so. Okay. Um, called Ratchet. And I have not heard. For anyone who's familiar, one of my my favorite books and movies um which this is going to give people some weird insight into my twisted little mind is one flew over the cuckoo's nest and so kind of in the way that bates motel kind of tells tries to tell a story of how norman bates became norman bates before psycho happened right so this show is trying to show the the evolution of Nurse Ratched from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Gotcha. And so we started, we, we watched a little bit of the first episode. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking didn't about. Didn't love it. Um, I didn't know that's what it was. But yeah. then we decided we were going to watch, re watch One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest because. Yes. 
and watching it in 2020 right gives you a tremendous insight obviously everything is amplified because right. it's a movie it's a right. story um but sometimes truth is stranger than fiction and it does give you a, an interesting insight to how the medical profession handled mental illness in the 60s and 70s which is demented it's it's real bad yeah i mean yeah like I've, if you if, if they were having too hard of a time with you they would just scramble a little bit of your brain to calm you down yeah you know like yep whoa yeah. you know and so it was it was just a very it was a very interesting movie to rewatch again it's it's always been one of my favorite it's been a stories. while since i've seen that one and i can't remember what it was but there was a time you know me well enough that it's like if something piques my interest then i go kind of I go hard in the yard and try and learn like right. a whole bunch about it. And I don't remember what had kind of cued my sixties, like mental disorder stuff, but you, you, you start pulling at that thread and you're like, Oh um, yeah, I can't unlearn that. Right. Like there's some things in life that we wish that we could undo. That is one of those. Things. That's one of those things. It yeah. It's messed up. So, but yeah. And it, it was, the cinematography. The editing. It was... It was It was just interesting to watch, again, just how they... I find myself recently, you know, because... I, as you well know, mm-hmm. and um, I'm sure a lot of other people do too, like I've, I've been really kind of obsessed with learning how the how behind filmmaking, you mm-hmm. know, not just the, the what, but like, how can, how do they get those shots and, and how do they do what they do with the cameras, you know, and, yeah. and try and understand it a little bit better. Nope. And so I, lo- I love sometimes, watching that stuff. And... Sometimes my wife will just kind of roll her eyes at me. You know, we're, we're watching and be like, did you see that shot? And I'll rewind it. Yeah, numerous times. Um, like, just to be on. like, Whoa, look at this. We're uh, that one no of them, one else notices. We talk about that all the time. We're like, hey, yeah. we should try and get this shot for our video. No one's gonna care, except for other us. than it looks cool. Yeah, and and they might understand. You know, they might think that. But I mean, we were watching. Um, it was called Defending Jacob. Oh, okay. months yeah, and months yeah, ago yeah. on on Apple TV Plus, and one of the shots was the camera was really tight on like the garbage can. Okay. You know, it was, it was trash day. So the camera is really tight on the garbage can and you don't see anything beyond it. Mm -hmm. And then the truck, the garbage truck pulls up, clamps onto the can and picks it up as the car driven by the main character is backing out of the driveway. That's some timing, you know? And it was just like, Oh, that's a really you know, it's a really cool shot. And right. I, I had to watch it a couple of times. And yeah, my wife's like, it, you're a nerd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I do. Listen, I, I was going to full blown say I, I did while I was working from home the other day. Sometimes I put things on that I can ignore. Right. And so I put on a movie that I've seen numerous times. But it's one of those movies where I'm like, hold on, hold on. Like stopped what I was doing. I was like, this is such a cool shot. And my son came in the room and I'm like, watch this, watch it. Which was Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay. Like I put it on intentionally for the fact that I could, I didn't have to pay attention to it. I was doing things in right. his background noise. But you know that this shot's but coming like, up. This, this shot's coming up. So I'm like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Um, so I'm waiting for well, you to I actually was... watch this movie because it's a rewatch. Because you'll watch it first time for the movie, another time for the storytelling, another time for the the cinematography and stuff. Right. And you're just like, I I can't even like wrap my head around what just happened. Well, and it's like, what did I, I was recently re- rewatching bad boys. Okay. Which I still didn't watch the third one, but I started to, it was actually not as bad as I, I was, I, I, I had, finished I had it planned yet. on it. I just yeah. didn't get around to it. And I knew that bad boys which, one and two d- were leaving it? Netflix. Right. But it's bad boys f- for life. Right. 
they missed a golden opportunity to have that be the name of the fourth one. Like, come up with something. Like, I get it, but it's kind of yeah. like they should have done the Fast and the Furious thing. And like, you know, too fast, too furious. Yeah. Like, Bad Boys 4, Life. Right. That would have been kind of great. But, anyway, but I what I But what I noticed in, in Bad Boys 1 and 2... Listen, Michael Bay gets... He gets his, his share of heat. Mm-hmm. He does some cool stuff, though. But... Man, the way that I already know the, what camera the, move you're doing. Those camera moves sometimes are just so amazing. How he'll have the camera moving through a scene, mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes it's not even pointed at the protagonist of right. the scene, but the way that the camera movements that he comes up with. Yeah, there's one where it goes through like a bullet hole. Right. Yeah, it, it's a really cool shot. And there's just so I just like I, I, I you forget because you know he gets a whole lot of crap for yeah. making cheesy movies sometimes. Yep, and not for good reason. Right. Um, you know he does make some <laughs> cheesy movies from time to time, but yeah. he also makes some good ones. Yeah, and, but but even in those cheesy movies, like. Again, remove remove the story for just a minute. Mm-hmm. Remove the dialogue and just watch what the camera is doing. Like take a minute and just disconnect from everything that's happening in the movie to watch what the camera yeah. is doing, how it's moving. Yep. And it's just amazing. No, I'm my wife is equally called me geeky because I'm like, hey, I'm gonna watch the commentary on this one. I don't do that. Oh, dude. You know how many commentaries I've watched in my entire life? Five. Zero. <laughs> no, there's some Zero good... director's commentaries. No, but there's some good... Just for that fact, they'll talk about different shots and stuff that mm-hmm. they did. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's that's my geek out and moment. This, our weekly <laughs> nerd news. Yeah. So, yeah, man. <sighs> Off to the races. It's time to get to work. Yep. Got to do that thing. For the rest of the day, the show is no longer a priority. I got to go. And so do you. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you. Until next time, he's Tucker. He's Beard. And we're out.